we're apparently recording very close today, so <laughs> it'll let you guys see exactly what I'm putting on my face. Hey guys, what's up? So today we are going to be trying out a couple of highlighters and also another one of those weird lip powder products. Um, this one is not by Urban Decay. We already did that one. So this one is by the brand Flesh. Um, it is the Swipe Flesh Lip Color. And I got mine in the shade Puffy. But we are also going to be trying out two of their Flesh to Flesh highlighting powders. One in the shade Boost and one in the shade Certain. So this is what they look like. Um, we are going to try these out. I don't even remember what colors these are, to be honest. I don't remember because I bought them a while ago. Ooh, cute compact though. So they look like this. Kind of very similar to all their other. Ooh, that's what that looks like. It's like a champagne-y. does have a mirror. Let's see what the other one looks like. That was the color Boost. So, let's see what other color I got because I don't remember. I don't remember if I got like a like a bronzer kind of highlighter. The struggle is real today. You ever have those days where you like can't open anything, drop everything? All right, this is in the color Certain. Oh, and it's like a pinky, like a pinky champagne color. So I did get two that would actually match my skin tone this time. So that's good. Oh, dropsy dropping everything. Um, so these, this says, run your finger over this powder. Can you believe how soft it contains? Coconut and sunflower seed oils plus pomegranate and ginger root extracts. So that's cool. Um, it does have 0.31 ounces in each compact. Um, mm, the first ingredient, though, is talc. Which I'm not. Isn't there a big thing about talc? Pretty sure there was. Why don't you go look that up? So we're gonna we're gonna put that on our face today. Yay! Um, and see how that goes. Um, so yeah, let's try these out. Um, how have you guys been doing? I hope everyone's been doing really well. I have just been super busy. Sorry, my face itched. All right. I put a divot in that. Did I put a divot in that with my finger? I don't know. So they are very smooth. They do look like that. I'm going to swatch them for you. So this is in the color Certain. And it's like a pink, pearly, it's very pretty. And then the color Boost is more of a champagne. It's kind of a lighter one. It's down below there. So I would probably, if I were going to actually wear these, would wear the pink one. But we're going to try both. We'll do one on either side of our face. Um, I am going to use a brush, though because I don't like putting highlighter on with my fingers. I think that's weird. I know people do that, but I think it's weird. Um, let's use, I'm not gonna use a fan brush though. Let's use, I'm gonna use this brush. So let's try the pink one. We're gonna put it on the right side of our face. That does go on nice. Has a pretty sheen. I do see it sticking to the dry spots on my face a little bit, so maybe using a deft hand with it would be best. That is pretty though, do you guys see that? So that is pretty. Let's try a little on our Cupid bow. I do like that. I know some people are like, don't use the same brush when you put highlighter on different parts of your faces. And I'm like, what? Couldn't hear you. Um, yeah, no, I like that. 
I like that. Sorry, wrong side of my face. I like that color. All right, let's try out the other one. We will use a different brush. Use this brush. All right. So that one's much more subtle. It would be a good every day, depending on if you want talc on your face every day. A good everyday highlight. I like that. That's very subtle, very pretty. I'm just gonna put some on my eyeballs. Not my eyeballs, my brow bone. Yeah, so especially if I was doing a look like this, just no, you know, put on a little mascara and go. <coughs> <coughs> I inhaled something, I don't know. Um, I would definitely wear this. I think it would be very pretty, very natural kind of looking, very subtle. So I like those. I actually like both of those, um, surprisingly. So yeah, uh, cute, compacts, and they're pretty big. I don't remember how much these cost. I never remember how much I pay for anything because then it sits in a basket before I do a video on it and um, I forget. So, but I will link it in the description. Now let's try the Swipe Flesh Lip Color. This is in the color Puffy. struggle is real. All right. So same compact, all of their compacts kind of look like this, this square matte. So that's a, a darker color and you can see the thumbprint in it this time. Um, that's kind of their signature is the raised thumbprint or fingerprint in their compacts. So this looks much more like a wax or like a lip balm than the Urban Decay one did. The Urban Decay one definitely look like an eyeshadow. It looked like a powder. Um, this one definitely looks more so like a balm or like a wax. And it feels more like a balm or like a wax. I don't know why they say powder on this because it doesn't, you can even see the sheen on it. Like it doesn't feel or look or represent a powder whatsoever in any manner, shape or form. And the color is very different than it is in the pan on your lips. So with this one, like the Urban Decay one, hold on. So this one I would definitely line your lips first and I might even apply it using a brush or something because like I said it's not powder it's like a waxy lip balmy liquid lipstick consistency um, but I seem to have a hard time actually getting it all the way to the outer edges of my lips when using my finger to apply it so I might use a lip liner and apply it with a brush and I think that that would work better. It's not moisturizing it feels like it definitely feels like there's something on your lips, but it also feels drying. Like you might want to put a lip gloss over it as well, or just make sure that your lips are very moisturized. Um, let's see if it's transfer proof. I highly doubt it. No, it's not. Um, it's not a bad color. I just, it's not my favorite product. It's not my favorite. Um, it's drying and it's weird. And if you're going to make a lip balm or a liquid lipstick and it's not actually going to be a lip powder like you claim it's going to be, then you should just put it in a tube, in my opinion. And not in a weird compact. Because that's dumb and I don't like it. So <laughs> that's my review of that. Uh, it's not my favorite and it's not super cheap. And if you like, you know, little compacts that have uh, colored lip balm in them like when you're five, 
and you want to use your finger or whatever, that's cool. And you might like this product. But if you actually want a powder, because that's what it says. Swipe flesh lip color. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't say powder. I was wrong. Sorry, flesh. Um, it just says swipe flesh lip color. So it does not say it's supposed to be a powder. A rich lip color that you can press on with your finger or if you're neat, use a lip brush. Okay, so I was completely wrong. This is not supposed to be a powder um, product like the Urban Decay. This is actually just supposed to be, like it says, a lip balm with color and a compact, like when you're five. So, my bad. And for what it is supposed to be, yeah, it's perfectly fine. Um, I don't like ones like this. I just prefer to use a stick. Uh, I don't like applying my lip products with a brush. Um, that might be because I'm lazy or I just don't like it. But anyway, if you do, then this would be fine. The color is pretty. It is not transfer proof. It would be good for every day, yada, yada, yada. So this is fine. Not my favorite. Sorry for the misconception that it was supposed to be a powder like the Urban Decay. Anyway, so this is not my favorite, but it is just fine. I do really like these highlighters, though. Um, They're very pretty. They're very subtle. They look really good. That's, again, the champagne one. And this is the pink one. But they're really nice. They come in these big compacts. They're soft. They're beautiful. I do really like those. So I will link all of the information to these products below and how much they cost. Um, and I know that there's lots of different colors. I think there's like three more colors in these highlighters. And then I think there's like, I don't know, six to eight colors of that lip crap. But I will link it below. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos. My bad for the misinformation. And if you want to see more videos, hit that like button, hit that follow, hit that subscribe. If you're on YouTube, hit that bell. And I'll let you know when I come out with more videos. And I will see you guys next time.